to talk about how to troubleshoot a Muse laser cutter made by Full Spectrum. This is the model we have. Let me go to their page real quick. Got this Hobie laser, the 45 watt version. It's pretty great overall. Uh, one thing that can happen, I'm going to go ahead and remote into it and then refresh the page, is your um, laser can get stuck on this RE3 blue page. And um, currently, uh, this laser, you can't see it from this menu, but it's running a uh, software version. Um, I'll paste it into the browser. This tab version 1.7.0-B is in Bravo, R is in Romeo 3.6, so it's a little older version. Um, there's no way to uh, factory restart this, uh, or reset this uh, laser cutter from the, um, the menu system. On newer, uh, newer ones it is, I just haven't updated this one because it's, um, it's installed behind my firewall and I haven't opened up the ports for the install. So here's the, the link to the manual. Anyway, if this happens to you, if you get stuck on this blue screen of death and you are, um, you know, if you want to do that and you are on the older operating system, you can go the nuclear option with the um, factory reset. This isn't in the manual. As long as your, you know, your ports are open, you can run this command. Let me modify it a little bit. Put some X's in here. Zero, zero. Paste this into the browser. Um, so this would be where you'd put the IP address, the static IP address of your uh, laser cutter. And then this 504 stands for port uh, 5004. And then, uh, that, you know, your laser is going to connect to um, the full spectrum API and it will do a factory reset. So that's one thing you can do to fix the blue screen issue if you can't get it to load. However, if you can get it to load, even if it's loading very slowly, chances are the hard drive's full. And so what you'll want to do is click on your projects, go file, export project file. So on Mac, that's Command Shift E and just work slowly. Go through all your files and download all of them. After that, slowly start deleting all your project files. And as you do that, there'll be more memory available and you shouldn't have as much latency. So that's the way I fix the blue screen of death issue. And uh, I, on our cutter, it was it was so bad that I just left a computer with a browser on the blue screen for a couple hours and as soon as it would load I would delete a project and then um, the more I deleted the faster the connection got so uh, just review the workflow Duh. if you're stuck on the blue screen of death with your Muse Hobie laser uh, you can do a factory reset uh, if you're on the newer version you can do that from the menu uh, or you can do it using this command which isn't in the uh, manual um, but I got it straight from the uh, tech support at Hobie. Uh, they just weren't available on our uh, full spectrum. They just weren't available on the weekends because they don't work on the weekends, which is okay. I get it. Um, and, uh, you know, the best option though is if you can get in, back up your projects by exporting your project files and then delete them one at a time. All right, hope this helps uh, with uh, folks looking to uh, better support their laser cutters. Thanks for watching.